Welcome back to our channel. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin ang housing. Housing. Lenta. So, sa video na to, isasplit namin ni Kim to ng seven sections. So, seven the first sections. section is going to be things you need to prepare or to have to rent here. Where you can find housing ads. Types, types of housing. housing in Vancouver. Cost of housing in Vancouver. Additional costs to keep in mind. Things to be aware of. And some tips that we have. Mm -hmm. First natin na pag-uusapan, ano ba ang kailangan yung i-prepare para sa bahay? So, meron tayong down payment, meron tayong references, ID, yung trabaho nyo, and minsan chinecheck din nila yung credit score nyo. Yeah, but the credit score is mostly for high-rise apartments. Yes. Where should you look for housing? So, um, you can find uh, ads on Facebook Marketplace. Um, Craigslist is also a common one. Um, Kijiji is one also, but it's not really mainly used in BC. And then there's also um, Rent Fast. It's like an app or a website. So, sa types of housing naman dito sa Vancouver na pwede nyo garantahan, merong um, bedroom lang, kagaya nung una naming na rent, kung mm -hmm. hindi nyo pa talaga kayang mag ng isang buong parang bahay na talaga or bahay na mag-function, pwede kayo mag ng room lang. Meron ding one bedroom na basement suite, meron ding two bedrooms na basement suites, Meron din yung mga laneway house na two bedroom. Yeah, laneway houses are kind of like garages that are turned into bahay. Houses, like a functional home. Mm -hmm. And meron din yung one bedroom apartment, kagaya nung sa amin. Tinitira namin. There's also like multiple rooms na apartments, but we didn't include it into here because that's going to be really expensive and that's not what we're here to be doing. Tama. So, yung basement suites din pala, hindi yung na-imagine nyo na nasa basement or nasa underground na ano. Um, fully functional naman po yung mga basement suites dito. Yung parang bahay pa din, kaso nga lang nasa baba siya. Mm -hmm. Right. So, the prices of those rentals or those housing types also depend on uh, the location and stuff. But the general housing prices are for a bedroom, just a bedroom without, I know, without kitchen, walang with a washroom. kitchen. Yeah, shared everything, and you're just renting the bedroom, which is very common in in Vancouver, is around six hundred fifty to twelve hundred. Yung twelve hundred super laki na niya na ano na bedroom mm -hmm. or master bedroom siya sa isang house. That's why it's twelve hundred. Or if it's a uh, high rise, tapos pinaparenta nila. pinaparenta nila yung half, then it's more than one thousand. But mm -hmm. it's very rare. If you're really just renting a room, it's going to usually cost you eight hundred dollars at like an average. Mm -mm. Tama. Yung next naman, meron din naman tayong one bedroom basement suites, guys. Yung one bedroom basement suites, may sarili talaga kayong kwarto, may kitchen kayo, and then meron din kayong um, salas. So, depende yan kung meron silang in-house na washer or dryer. Pero, um, generally, nagkakahalaga yan yung mga ganyan na mga 1,300 to 1,800. Ganun yung mga presyohan dito. Meron din namang two-bedroom na basement suites, dalawang kwarto, may washroom, may kitchen, may salas. Nagkakahalaga naman sila ng 1,700 to 2,100 na, ano, na presyo. Yeah, those prices are quite steep because um, the rentals went up this year, so that's why ano medyo mahal na. Pero before, uh, a two bedroom would be like eighteen hundred. Pero mm -hmm. ngayon medyo nagtaas na a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, the next kind is the laneway um, house that we were talking about. Uh, those are usually um, two bedroom or sometimes one but one bedroom is like really big mm -hmm. um but those go right now for 1900 to 2300 2300 being like really big rooms and a really brand new laneway and then the one bedroom apartments um like ours right now 
are going for 1900 and more usually more mm -hmm. so the lowest price that you'll probably see is 1900 um that's within like the i don't know main areas of vancouver mm -mm. come on so additional costs that you have to keep in mind Renting a bedroom, sometimes the ads would say that it's all inclusive, but um, lately I've been noticing that um, they have more like additional fees, like 30 to 50 dollars not extra just to share with the utilities and Wi-Fi. Other and not. Yeah, so Hunare, they post it for 800 and then when you look at the, the description of the ad, they will say that Oh, it's additional, I don't know, fifty dollars or thirty dollars or whatever how much it is for I don't know to share with the other bills of the house. Dependes na paparenta. Mm -hmm. So another one then, minsan um yung home internet, um kailangan pa kayo ang gagasos or mag babayad. So usually nag kakahalagayan ng mga sixty, yeah, to one twenty. Yeah. Depende sa uh, lakas ng internet, depende sa provider nyo, depende sa nirerentahan nyo. True. Ours right now is $78 with, ano, um, TELUS. Mm -hmm. And our speed, our internet speed is a hundred... Hindi, mas malakas. 1,000? Mm, ganun. Yeah, mga, basta yung fastest speed na ano. Doesn't make sense, right? Kasi dalawa lang kami. Pero <laughs> may deal kasi nun. Electricity is called BC Hydro here in Vancouver. So when people say you have to pay for hydro, they're just referring to electricity. electricity. So um, for one bedroom, siguro uh, na basement suites, those are 55 to $70 per bill. Ang billing pala ng hydro is every other month. So it, you have to pay for two months at one time. So that just... Um, equals to siguro mga $25 to $30 or $40 a month. Mm -mm. Yung two bedroom na basement, mga ganun din, no? Mm -hmm. Pero sa amin kasi, parang nagbabayad kami ng more than that, eh. Yeah. 100 something. It also depends kasi kung... Usage nyo. Yeah, yung usage. At saka sa winter, take note that you're gonna be using heater, so that costs a lot more than usual. Especially in the summer, your bill will be lower because you're not using as much energy. Yeah. And yun yung mga basic guys na mga kailangan nyo intindihin, no? Pero ang iba like additional na meron like sa amin, sa case namin, nag nagbabayad kami ng parking na monthly din namin binabayaran. Pero may iba naman no na may free na parking. Included, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially for ano yung mga basement suites. Um, parking is usually like on street. Mm -hmm. And then for high-rise buildings, usually it comes with parking, but sometimes it doesn't. Yung ibang units yeah. pala. And then also for high-rise apartments, um, they do require you to get um, insurance mm -hmm. for like a renter's insurance. Ours cost 200 and something a year. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's renewed every year. Oo, tama. And syempre guys, huwag nyo kalimutan, pag andito kayo, nag, nag, ah, ano, nag stay kailangan nyo din naman na something na makaka-entertain sa inyo para iwas homesick. So, magbabayad pa din kayo ng, like, mga subscriptions nyo, like, um, Amazon, or Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, Crave. Yeah, mga ganun klase. Disney Plus, yeah. Uh -oh. And those are usually, like, around $20 a month. Mm -mm. Yeah, so just keep Spotify. that in mind. Yeah. And, um, Usually, you know, in the Philippines or like before, there would be cable TV. And we still have cable TV here, but it's just not as common anymore mm -hmm. because people are watching from the subscriptions. So here are the um, things that you guys need to be aware of. If you have a pet, it will cost you um, another half month of deposit. So, for example, your deposit will be 400 because your renting is 800 mm -hmm. You will have to put a 800 deposit instead of the 400 400 for a pet deposit and then the other um, 400 for the deposit. Mm -mm. Tsaka nga pala guys, minsan mahirap din maghanap dito ng um, matitirhan lalo na pag kunwari dalawang couples mag-asawa or mag-nobyo-nobya. 
Tapos may friends kayo na mag-know your Mm -mm. Tapos gusto niyo magkasama sa isang bahay. Minsan mahirap kasi may mga two bedrooms pero may iba na super strict sila. Nire-require lang nila na tatlo maximum na pwedeng uh, tumira sa bahay na yon Minsan nagpapa-additional sila kung i-consider nila na apat. Minsan may additional na bayad yun. True. Yeah. Um, before picking the place, uh, just uh, look where you're going to be most of the time. Mm -hmm. So if your school is like in Langera, then pick a place near Langera so then it's minus time and effort to go home and to go to school. Totoo. And of course, syempre, kung pipili kayo ng bahay, um, pipili na rin kayo ng bahay na convenient or accessible sa lahat. Kasi, minsan nakakalas nga tayo, pero kailangan pa rin naman natin ng uh, mag-commute na pagkalayo-layo. So, isipin nyo, malapit ba ito sa bus stop? Malapit ba ito sa um, station? May mga grocery stores ba? Um, yung mga ganun klaseng questions or kayong neighborhood, okay lang ba? Ganun. Safe ba? Mm -mm. Quiet ba? May mga homeless ba sa labas? Yeah, it's um, important that when you go and view the place, walk around the neighborhood a little bit. Kahit mm. mga siguro 3 minutes, 5 minutes, ganun lang. Tata. So, the common rule is that the closer it is to downtown, the more expensive it'll be. So, the farther it is to downtown, the li less expensive it is. And then, same with transit. So, the more accessible it is, it's going to be more expensive and if it's you have to take you know a bus two buses or a really long ride to get there then it's going to be cheaper totoo at saka guys yung rentahan dito um usually nagsa start ng first ba ng month first first or the 15th mm -hmm. yeah the 15th is a prorated ano rate rate mm -hmm. so kunwari like 400 na lang babayaran for the month. Yes. <laughs> and then, also, um, kung magre-rent kayo tapos may contract naman, um, kailangan basahin nyo yung contract kung ano yung mga ina-agree nyo or kung ano yung mga um, pinipirmahan nyo. Sure. Lalo na yung mga terms kasi... Yes, okay. So, I'll keep... <laughs> this is a quick rundown on what your lease um, should be or these are the common ones that in terms and agreements na yeah. meron makikita niyo. So, it's going to be a 12-month agreement um, and then after is month to month. Um, rent is going to be paid on the last day of the month. Uh, the landlord has to give the tenant, you, um, 24 hours of notice before, you know, going to your house or knocking or like checking anything in the house. Um, any damage that you cause will be paid by you or taken out of your deposit and um, that's apart from the wear and tears like kunwari nagasgas yung wall don't worry about that too much that's gonna be covered by ano, your landlord mm -hmm. at saka guys um, dahil dito um, pwede din silang mag increase pala yung mga landlord no? mag increase sila ng rent after 12 months nyo magstay sa ano nyo sa sinistayhan nyo pero they can only increase your rent for a maximum of magana ba um that is a government uh, given percentage or regulated na pala yeah. siya ng government so the rate this year is 1.5 and so i have an example here that's like if you have if you're paying for your rent for a thousand dollars then your increase, increase. will be a thousand and fifteen dollars um also just a really important thing to note is when the rent or when the landlord increases your rent you have like a three month notice before they increase it uh -oh, dapat yeah. alam niya or dapat pinapa alam nila three months three months prior pa na mag start mag, in mag increase yung rent niyo. true yeah and then um if you are going to move out um, after your 12 months, you have to give your notice to your landlord a month before you move out. So you can't just move out because you want to move out. You have to give them a month notice. Um, if you break the contract, 
it. So if you're going to move out before the 12 months, that might cost you some money. Um, it might be a prorated amount of until the contract ends, but you can also just have an agreement with your landlord to say that you're gonna move out. Yeah. So guys, sa case naman na yan, hindi lang naman yung yung renter ang gustong mag-move out din, no? May times din naman yung landlord gusto nila na umalis na yung nagre-rent sa kanila. Pwede yon Pero dapat magbigay din sila sa inyo ng parang reason or parang valid na reason kung bakit kayo papalisin. True. And there's mm -hmm. only a few that they can actually tell you. Mm -hmm. That is, if they're gonna be using the place for to house their immediate family or mm -hmm. something like that, or if they're going to be selling the house or renovating the house. Mm -mm. So, um, yeah, just take note of that because a lot of people get kicked out and they don't Hindi question it. Bakit, oh. But if you get kicked out or if the landlord is asking you to move out, you can also get compensated for that. So just know that so you can tell your landlord that and I don't know, be like, oh, well, then pay me two months rent. And then they will <laughs> agree because they have to. That's the law. That's all. And um, lastly, sa mga kailangan yung maging aware, yung deposit na binigay niyo sa simula bago kayo mag-move in sa rerentahan niyo, kung aalis kayo yun, dun, yung deposit niyo ibabalik naman sa inyo. Um, yan kung walang any damages, kung walang um, kailangan effects, or kung walang nasira, or kung wala kayong, kung clean naman yung kabuuan ng pag-stay niyo dun, mm -hmm. yung de deposit na nabinig nabinigay niyo, full din na magbabalik sa'yo. True. And lastly, when you're walking through or like when you're about to move in, take pictures of the place and take pictures of, you know, details of the place. Mm -hmm. If you find something that was like completely broken when you moved in, um, tell your landlord about it or take a picture so they know that you didn't damage it. Yep, that's right. Mga tips for newcomers or international students or anybody who is coming to move here. Yep, so... Um, mga international students natin na pupunta dito. Guys, alam ko, nagtatanong kayo kung saan maganda mag-stay or mag -rent. Yeah, or paano mag-start na mag-look ano mag -look for places and stuff. Yes, that's right. And I'm pretty sure na prior nyo pagpunta dito sa Canada, may, may mga um, nakakausap na kayo, mm -hmm. may mga um, grupo na kayong nasasalihan para alam nyo kung saan at kung paano nyo gagawin yung housing nyo dito. So, um, importante din no, na may mga kausap kayo or may mga makakasama kayo kung wala mga kasama at least may makakausap kayo na andito na para matulungan kayo mag-brainstorm, matulungan kayo maghanap ng bahay. Um, kung pagdating nyo dito tapos nag-Airbnb kayo, ano, magtanong-tanong kayo sa school kung ano, sinong kailangan ng roommate or something. Kasi marami din kayo mahanap ng mga Filipinos na hindi pa talaga settled. So, they might be looking for a house or something and you can share with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tama. And I think may mga programs naman yung mga school din. Mm. Yung iba. Yung iba yeah. lang ha. May mga programs yung mga school na nagagayit sa mga international students or mga dadating na dito kung paano yung oh, where or, or like how to nila. find houses. Um, so, if your school is in downtown Vancouver, which is very common for international schools, um, <laughs> Accenda is in downtown, mm -hmm. Alexander College is downtown, Fairleigh um, Dickinson University, FDU is in downtown, and many more are in downtown. So, if your school is in downtown, the, basically you can find housing from anywhere and you will find it very easy to get to downtown. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that the time that it will take you to get to downtown. But um, since Vancouver is very trans transit friendly, you will be able to find housing anywhere and still get to your Destination. school pretty quickly. Um, if your school is, for example, Langara, which is like placed quite awkwardly in 41st, um, you might want to find a house around Fraser, Main Street, 41st, 49th, or anywhere in that area because then it will be easier for you to get to your school only by bus. Tama. Um, isa din sa known na school dito is yung UBC. Medyo um, may kamahalan yung UBC guys. Pero um, it's a very big school and it's a very good school. And yeah. it's 
a really um, well-known school around the world. University of British Columbia. Yeah. So, um, makakahanap kayo ng mga cheaper na bahay at saka magaganda din naman na bahay sa West End na side. Mm -hmm. While yung UBC pala, nagpo-provide sila ng housing ng mga students sila, mm -hmm. nagbabayad pa rin It's quite expensive. Yan. Medyo mahal, pero kung gusto niyong mag, um, tumira sa labas ng campus and then mag-work din sa labas ng campus or mag-part-time, pwede kayong maghanap din sa West End na part. True. Um, and if you don't have a job yet because you just got here and you're only looking for housing right now and you're a student and you can only work 40 hours a week, 20, 20 hours. hours a week, then just let the landlord know when you're looking or sometimes you will find ads that will be specifically for st international, international students. Because mm -hmm. the gusto na na international students. I don't know why. Maybe they want to take advantage of them. But um, yeah, just tell them and be open that you don't have a job but you can pay your rent and you're an international student. Most of the time, the renters or landlords will assume that you have money because you are here and, you are an and studying. Student. So they will, you know, consider you even without, you know, a uh, reference from a job. Yeah, that's right. So, yun lang naman yung mga basic na kailangan yung siguro tandaan mm -hmm. sa um, vlog na to. Sana ay may yeah, it's really quick kayo. <laughs> Pero, kung may questions kayo? Yeah, kung may, may mga questions kayo or concerns or ano mga hindi namin nasagot or hindi namin na uh, cover dito sa video na to um, feel free to comment on the comment section and mm -hmm. ask us um, but we also have a Facebook page now um, that you can message us through if you want it to be more private or kung marami kayong questions or kung gusto niyo ng you know mag I know do like a FaceTime call tapos sabihin sa inyo kung whatever your questions are. Mm -hmm. Um pwede naman yon kasi lang guys. I'm just gonna uh, we're kind of busy a lot. So <laughs> maybe not the calls but we will get to your questions right away. Um yeah, so and if you're here or like moving here and you need friends or you don't know anybody Feel free to message us and with you. I don't know. If you want to, lang talaga kami nakakapag-reply pero nagre-reply naman po kami, guys. Yeah, true. So, we're just busy. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and um punta na kayo sa Facebook page namin. Yeah. Meron kami doon kung gusto niyo mag-message and then yeah, see you tomorrow or in the next video. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.